Edge is backstage. It is now a tagline. They may have the greatest wrestling match. Oh, it's not even they may have of it all is, time. It is the greatest wrestling match of all time. That's the name of the. Sh- that's essentially the sub the subheading of the show. It is the subheading of the show, but the greatest at least match Samoa Joe time. says they may. They haven't. Well, they haven't totally killed this poor guy yet. Maybe. Maybe but they're Samo- trying. Maybe Samoa Joe's trying to retain a modicum of credibility. Yes. So Edge cuts this great promo, and talks about how he had been retired for three thousand two hundred and twelve days, during which time, Randy, you had one thousand one hundred and twenty-six matches. That was nice. St- nice statistics. Yes, he says I have been studying this. So, 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 does that mean like he's the same age as Damascus? He didn't say 3,212 years. He said 3,212 well, he, days. I, I wish he said that. Then he could be like the same age, and he could be like the nephew of William Shakespeare or something, mm-hmm. or second cousin or something. Well, anyway, he uh, he says, I've been thinking about this. It has been weighing on me. I watched the Undertaker documentary. Now I'm in the Undertaker's boots. I get it. He says, if you want to doubt my wrestling ability, I've hung with every great wrestler that has been in this company in the last 20 years. I've adapted to every style. I taught guys how to take it to the next level, but all of that is past tense. I don't know if I can do any of that anymore. But a backlash, I'm going to dive to the depths of my soul to try. They go back, and Samoa Joe does in fact say, this might be the best wrestling match ever. Why would they pick this match to do that when they've had like? Why would they pick any match to do that? Well, I mean, there is a certain thing when you have like two absolutely spectacular wrestlers, you know, where you could where you could do that as a tag line, and maybe you're right. Yeah, but you know what? It's not even like they're saying this could be the match of the year. Like they're saying greatest match of all time. This is the greatest match of all time. So, like, pick any promotion on the planet right now, okay, or like five months ago. Pick any promotion on the planet. Pick any two guys in that promotion. Even the best of the best of the best alive today. Okay? And the chances are still against them having the best wrestling match of all time. Great. Maybe. But, I, I mean, I can promise you with everything I got that Randy Orton and Edge are not going to have the greatest wrestling match of all time. So I, why I, they're building this up, I don't understand. Because, I guess because there's a subset of fans who actually will will actually argue afterwards that it was the greatest wrestling match yeah, of all but, time but that's but a very small number of people but you're more setting people up for the idea that you're disappointing them because now a great match is not even enough because you're you're telling people it's got to be the greatest match of all time i mean just a simple great match and i mean no matter what talent randy orton has i don't think randy orton has had a match in his life that is one of the 500 greatest matches of all time. Dude, it's not even that. But, like, imagine the best match that, that we probably have ever seen. The the Omega-Okada match. Yeah, I don't think they're getting Imagine that in the Performance Center with no fans. Like, it's not going to be the greatest match of that. all time. Well, it's not even... Well, there, there, will, be, there will be 33 fans there, but... but. <laughs> Dude. But still. Even, look, even if they were in a building with 10,000 people, the odds are like, what... A million to one that they're, they're going to do it. Not quite zero. A million to one. No, they, Dave, there's zero. <laughs> Edge, well, you're, you're, Edge not having wrestled. He wrestled one time in 3,212 days against Randy Orton. There's zero chance that they're going to have the greatest wrestling match of all time. None. Not even one in a million. Might be one in a million. No. Zero. There's zero, <laughs> zero, zero chance. Okay, man. Like, like Edge is going to hear this. And Edge is going to, like, sit there, and he's going to, like, come up with idea after idea after idea, because Edge is sort of a genius, you know? He is sort of a genius, but you know what? If he's a genius, he also knows there's zero chance <laughs> that this is going to be the greatest match of all time. Yeah, he should have told them. He should have said, like, um, Bill, it is, like, the best match in WWE of the week. <laughs> sure. I think we can hit that bar. Fuck, if they would have said the best WWE match of the year, there is a chance of that. It's probably not going to happen, but you know what? There's a chance. Either, but But there's a chance. There is not a chance. It's the greatest wrestling match of all time. I don't see how it's even possible. I don't see any way. I mean, it's not like. Then you're admitting there's zero chance. It's a million to one chance. No, no, (laughs) I'm not. I'm not giving you this one. There's no chance. There's a million. If they wrestled a million times, Dave, you're telling me one time that they they'd have the greatest match in history. No. 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 They okay. Would not. 
They would not. All right. But they may they may come up with some w- incredible. They may they may do something. You know, dude. Rand- it may like, be a great match. It may even be their WWE match of the year. I uh, hope it is. I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't even think the odds are good for it to be the WWE match of the year. There's there's people who are going to have great matches once we have fans back. Um, well, they they better be hoping there's no fans back. Maybe they can pull it off. 